How's it going everybody? Super Duper Guy here, and I'm going to be showing you the best build in the entire game. Uh, actually, that's, that's not even clickbait. This is the best build you can get in the entire game. It has the highest survivability, highest damage output that's equivalent to almost hacked weapons, and uh, doesn't require ammo, consumables, power-ups, stealth, and did I mention you're super tanky? Alright, so without further ado, if you guys watched my other videos, you are know it's going to be a bash damage minigun build. And essentially what this is, is uh, miniguns can get a mod called Shredder. What Shredder does is when you have zero ammunition, your minigun will do melee damage. It rotates about 13 times per second and does your bash damage uh, damage. So bash damage is essentially formulated by your strength, and that, that, that's it. Literally just strength. The, the only way to get your bash damage up is to increase your strength and a couple other things. A couple other things is essentially the um, basher perk card, 50% more damage, and a basher effect on your minigun. Another thing that's actually going to increase the damage is going to be uh, stabilized. Ignores 45% uh, armor. And... Surprisingly, uh, if you have an anti-armor effect, like this, it actually synergizes with Stabilized. Uh, any other primary legendary effect doesn't really work, so you could have Zealots, it won't work. Uh, Aristocrats, no extra damage, Bloody, no extra damage. You won't get any extra damage from Bloody Mass, no extra damage from Drugs, no extra damage from just about anything other than Strength. Because Bash Damage is on its own complete different formula, you could have Revenant effect going on and you still won't do any extra damage because it's literally just bash damage and bash damage is only basically based off strength and I guess anti-armor if you want to go that way. So how do you get enough strength that this thing does totally ridiculous amounts of damage that can kill like a queen with a non-legendary variant in 5 minutes? So there are ways you could go about this. So first way, 15 strength uh, and then you want 5 strength. If you are deciding to run a low HP power armor build, I don't really suggest it because I don't like being low HP. You can also get Radical to increase your strength by 5 more. So with that alone, you'll have 20 strength. Uh, other ways is if you have power armor, uh, basically get plus 1 strength. Uh, the other thing is you can get motion assist servos, which gives you 2 strength onto your power armor. And with all that said and done, you'll have uh, quite a lot of strength. I think it's about like 30-ish. And with 30 strength, you are going to annihilate all things. Uh, another thing that you can have is something called uh, Herd Mentality. Uh, I don't have it on this character, I guess. So essentially, Herd Mentality will increase all your stats by 2. It'll be 3 if you have the Strange with Numbers mutation. Uh, and that's huge. It's actually massive. Uh, and then Twisted Muscles also works for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but... It does give you a little bit extra damage, it's not 25% though. So honestly, mutations you don't really have to worry about unless you want the extra damage from herd mentality. So with all that said and done, you'll be sitting at 35 strength, give or take. So 35 strength alone is uh, a lot of strength. You'll be able to kill the queen in three minutes, but let's say you want to get even more damage out of this. So essentially the best way to get the most damage is to have an anti-armor bash minigun. So with Basher, the Bash damage, basically this is 100% double damage. And for some reason, Bash damage is still multiplicative, not additive. So it'll actually do just double your damage with your Bash. And the Ignore Armor stacks with the um, Stabilized, so you'll do even tons more damage. Uh, and you could just always use Vampires if you want for the, uh, you know, 30 health per second rotation, never die. So, uh, basically, with all that said and done, there are some other ways that you increase your damage further. I did say this is without consumables, but if you do do consumables, you can increase your damage by, like, another 50%. So, there's actually a perk called, called Party Boy. And essentially, what Party Boy does is triples the effect of alcohol. Whiskey, being an alcohol, will give you 6 strength. 6 strength might not seem like much, but it's actually huge and will probably increase your damage by 25 to 30%. Uh, another thing that you could do is actually some drugs, something like uh, Psychotats. Let's see if I actually have any to show you guys. Something like Psychotats will, uh, isn't, no, uh, Buff Tats, I'm sorry, it's Buff Tats. Something like Buff Tats will increase your strength by 3. So with that, you increase your strength by 9. So with 50 strength, uh, 
that that's a lot of damage. It, it's, it's a lot of damage. So I guess I should show you this build in action. So first I'll just basically go over what you want to do and what to expect. So there are some uh, tips and tricks that I can give you guys for this build. One of the tips and tricks is if you are in third person, you will suffer from staggers lessly, and then you can also somewhat sprint while having your minigun revved up like so. So basically how you kill things in this build is you just simply walk up to them. If you're in third person, you can jump and still retain your spin. And mind you, this is at night. I'm currently suffering from some sort of disease or whatever. And uh, you can see basically the damage is uh, absurd. <laughs> you just simply walk up to them and they die. And once again, you do not need a legendary minigun. The legendary minigun will just increase your damage. You could probably do just about this much damage with a regular non-legendary minigun. Most of the damage will come from strength. And from strength, you can get 20 right off the bat just by having the legendary perk card and having it maxed out. So with that, you, you just easily clear those. But you're like, oh, wow, so what, super mutants? What a, what a big deal. Well, um, let's go on to something more challenging. Let's go, I don't know, say a Scorch Beast. So Scorch Beasts are basically tougher foes, a lot of resistances and whatnot. So let's go fight one. So we have this one here. I'm just going to throw on my Pepper Shaker so we can cripple it, and I'll show you exactly how fast it can kill a Scorch Beast. So essentially Pepper Shakers are really overpowered because you can essentially cripple something in one hit. And it's already coming down. So I'm going to switch to my damage minigun. That was weird. And we're just going to run over to her. Grab up your minigun and look how fast it melts. You suffer from staggers, but it's no biggie. Look at that. Dead already. Uh, literally with this build, it's it's pretty hard to like uh, go wrong. You just do uh, absurd amounts of damage. You're safe in power armor. You can withstand all these hits, uh, and it's just good. It's just a good build. So essentially, just to recap, all you need is a shredder mini gun, power armor, bash damage uh, if you want on the mini gun. If it's not legendary, don't worry about it. Basher legendary perk, stabilized. And with that alone, with the 20 points in strength, the 15 default, and then the 5 from the legendary perk, you'll be doing this much damage. You'll be able to kill the queen solo in like 3-4 minutes, and no problem. You can go above and beyond, like I said before, with the plus 1 strength in your power armor, the motion assist service on your power armor, uh, and yeah, that's about it. If you want to see this build against the queen, I have videos for that. I have one with the regular minigun that's non-legendary, so this that shows you basically how much damage you can do without any like legendary items. And then I have the one with the uh, anti armor bash minigun that I killed the queen in three minutes. So hopefully this build helps you guys. If you guys have any questions, drop it down below. Uh, this is literally the most overpowered build in the game. High survivability, high damage, no ammo cost, no consumables. Uh, literally just try this build out. You guys will basically turn the game to easy mode it does more damage than legacies and basically almost equivalent to hacked weapons hope you guys have a super duper day and bye